Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, beat up some brutals here in the Wooded Kingdom, unlocked the secret flower garden, took out the boss, and now we are ready to go. We only needed 16 more. We have way more than that because we are overachievers and incredible. I actually don't know how many that is, but we're going to find out here in a second. Let's do some math. Okay, looks like we've got 26, 10 more. Under promise, over deliver. Perfect. Now that the Odyssey is powered up, we can continue to move along our way and chase down Bowser. Looks like we're going to be heading to the Metro Kingdom. This is definitely the one that I would say they marketed the most when they were talking about this game. Has a little bit more polish than some of the other places. I don't know if I would necessarily say I love this kingdom just because it's not quite as kind of fanciful. I mean, it's literally built around being a big city. So that's what I love to do. Go and hang out in big cities in my video games. So instead, let's hear about what Cappy has to say. Another useful skill tip from Cappy. Just the tip. The cap throw and hold. Yes. Would love to do that. Okay. I'm pretty sure we've already done that and that wasn't super useful, Cappy. How about some fresh information? Uh oh. It's like somebody's got a uh, rumbling in their tumbling. <gasps> oh my gosh. Bowser's airship, who could have guessed? Mario's like, ooh, Cappy, fly me in close. All right, let me at him. My pro controller is vibrating something fierce. It's probably nice, depending upon where you put it. Anyway, okay. Yeah, put your dukes up in our tiny little ship that we're not going to really be able to do anything. The Cloud Kingdom in the Nimbus Arena. Who would have guessed that there'd be an Inner Kingdom boss fight? Yeah, this is a story battle, so you have to do this one eventually. Oops. <laughs> I said eventually, I didn't say when. That was a tutorial on what to do if you don't hit that. Actually, you know what? This gives me a good opportunity to do something that I forgot to do. I got all excited. I can't fight Mario. Have Mario be fighting Bowser like this. Let's go back to the OG outfit. Oh, yeah. We're done going on a safari. No more park ranger in. We need to show Bowser who's boss. All right, oof, almost messed that up again. There we go, all right. Let's do battle. Eventually, we gotta run to it. There we go. Look at that outfit. Get used to these boss battle mechanics because you're gonna see them a bit. I thought the Brutals were planning your wedding. It's Peach. Peaches, 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 Peaches. There you go. Wouldn't it all be nice to have a hat that could turn into boxing gloves? Okay. So yeah, this is the... Um, this is the Bowser Cloud Kingdom fight. Punch him just right in the groin. Right in the old Bowser balls. Pretty sure that doesn't feel too good. That's your problem, not mine, buddy. Now he's gonna start throwing decoy hats at us. Once again, probably not, you know, realistically a difficult fight. But it is, it is interesting. It does kind of borrow some elements. Oops, I didn't even, 
I did not expect that to happen. He went full Mario Galaxy on us. I do like that they put him in a, like a defensive posture at least, so... Puts his hands up, getting ready to try to block some punches, except for he doesn't. Just takes everything right to the junk. Alright, got a bunch of decoy hats now. Whoa. I'm not sure how I dodged that, to be completely honest. Where did the hat go? Alright, just totally whiffed on that cycle. My bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's... I did not expect there to be hearts in those. Ooh, if you hit... If you hit his hat... With Cappy, it actually pushes it further away from you. That's not good. Alright, so we gotta... Be mindful of these. Probably just... Get your punchings going. There you go. Let's see if... Three times of the charm. Ooh! I didn't know he did that. Yeah, once again... Um, I haven't played this game specifically in a while, and I have not played this boss fight in this game probably equally as long. Alright, we gotta back up a little bit. Watch out for that. Get him off balance. Punch him right in the doodle. There it is. Peach is like, oh! You're making him sterile! I mean, he's already had like 700 children, it's not like it matters. The world is overpopulated, Bowser. Take it easy, alright? Wrap it up. Uh oh. That's not good. Run, Mario. It's kind of rude. Jeez! Bowser the terrorist. My goodness. Thanks for nothing, Peach. Don't you have magic powers? Couldn't you have done anything about that? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, did Bowser just destroy the Odyssey? Might be game over. No Metro Kingdom for us. Looks like he's headed to the moon? Not entirely sure... Astronomically how that's possible. But here we are, we're actually in the Lost Kingdom. Looks like we've been cast astray. Poor Odyssey. We just fixed it up too. Hopefully we have insurance. Well, once again, the solution to everything, of course, is the Power Moon. So, we will need to find some of those. Let's go ahead and see where we are. The Lost Kingdom, a remote chain island in the tropics. It's a lively paradise surrounded by a sea of death. Oh, wonderful. Currency is leaf-shaped. Pretty, pretty warm here, pretty balmy. Some of the captures in this one are incredibly goofy. So I appreciate this kingdom. It's very fun, as most of them are. Here's some of this information if you'd like to read it. Of course, just pause the video and check that out if you'd like. Um, some big red buttons to stomp on. Of course, very fun. And then over here, we have uh, some local fauna, Klepto. You remember Klepto from Mario 64? He will steal your hat. What a jerk. There are some ruins that are affected by this starburst pattern. And the trapedal, of course. So here's the three keys to the kingdom. Enjoy the breathtaking scenery, but beware the death-dealing poison, of course. Watch the tropical wiggler grow and shrink. It is simply mesmerizing. Don't let people see your tropical wiggler unless you really trust them. And then finally, puzzle over the odd mechanics of these strange ruins. Interesting. We will, of course, be very mindful of this goo. We are surrounded by grape drink. It is probably not my favorite of the drinks when it comes to fruit-flavored sodas. But we have leaf-shaped coins. Very cool. There's actually a, a, a key right there that we can't get. So, unfortunately, we'll have to come back to that. Let's say face the pole. We are on a tree. That is not a pole. Good job, game. It's very kind of like a muted, colorful pattern. I like this area a lot. It's pretty fun to explore and pretty quiet. There's no music yet. But of course, 
One of the first things that happens when you land in this kingdom is you get your cap stolen by Klepto, which is actually a really funny name. I don't know if, you know, buzzards, vultures are known to be the type of animal to steal things like that. But it does make me laugh that uh, that is kind of the situation we're in. But as you can see, these stairs can be altered in placement by butt stomping the old starburst pattern. So we've got to be careful here because we don't have our cap. So there's not really a uh, not really a ton we can do here. We can't do any captures or anything like that. So be mindful of these enemies. Everything is a little dangerous right now. We are in a bit of a rough situation. Also, um, getting to Cappy as soon as possible is obviously ideal because until you do, you will hear that the entire time that you play this. So unless you really enjoy that, I don't, um, you're probably going to want to rescue your boy quickly. So here's our first interaction with the Tropical Wiggler. Unfortunately, we can't do the capture of said Wiggler yet. We do not have the means via Cappy. So we will just have to be mindful of that. We'll come back, of course, and do all the things that we need to do. We just can't do that right now. All right, Cappy's way over there. There's actually a moon over here, which would be nice to get. Unfortunately, I cannot. Oops, but I can jump in the... Ooh! That was a grisly death animation. Gross. Poor Mario. All right. So it looks like we actually have to be a little sly and getting around here. And of course, it's never going to be quite so easy as just going after Klepto. So instead, we will use the staircase to murder him. Cappy, we got you! Rather pokey. Can imagine some people feeling that way in life. Depends upon where you're putting your pokey. That sometimes can be pretty unpleasant. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that was exciting, right? I think, maybe? All right, so Tropical Wiggler, um, easily one of the best captures in the game, also because it makes an accordion sound. <laughs> It is fun to do this, to get my Wiggler nice and long out there. But only when it's not cold. All right, so it's kind of the extent of that power. It doesn't really get any more exciting than that, but I'm trying to come over here. And I will temporarily leave Wiggler and grab it back. I think I should be able to wrap myself around this tree maybe and grab that moon. Whoop. There it is. It's a very fancy way to do that. Looks like we need about 10 or so um, power moons here. I'm not going to count because now is not the time for book learning. Ooh, I did not mean to do that, but that worked out really well, actually. Whoop. Sorry, Tropical Wiggler. Ooh. We'll grab another one of y'all and come over here. I'd have to imagine that this area is something special. You can always feel the vibration in your soul. That's how you know that you're about to get a power moon. And there are actually some purple coins under this that we'll come back for. Yeah, this is just a nice little introduction to the Lost Kingdom. Kingdom. Badoop. Laterally, the Tropical Wiggler is a great companion to be able to come down here and do stuff, but you have to actually abandon ship if you intend to gather moons most of the time. They are just situated above its head, so you're not going to really be able to do that. Right, let's get some moon ships, shall we? Let's see how good we are at platforming and spatial awareness. In real life, not very. Okay. Got some of these butt munches around us. I have to be very careful here. If you touch them, they will kill you, of course. Let to make sure we can find all of them. Looks like this one's being guarded by this wiggler. Oop. Can we land? Nope. I think the game is pretty good about, unless you are physically touching 
another surface that you can land on, it won't let you do it, I think. All right, viewers, we need one more. Let's see if we can find it. It's probably hidden around the around the bend here, if I had to guess. Oop. I'm gonna need you to get the H out of here. Thanks, bud. There ain't room here for the both of us. Let's get on. Oop. Oh, I thought it would have caused me to lose the capture. That's nice. All right. Ooh, what is in here? It's Captain Cho Toad. Hooray! And we lose it right away. Yeah, I don't really need um, coins like this. The regular coins are relatively unimportant unless you want to buy all the cool costumes and whatnot. And occasionally you'll want to buy a, um, you know, a Power Moon if you can. We'll probably get a freebie here. A different... What? What are you doing hanging out with government drones, Captain Toad? Has anybody ever played the Captain Toad game? That one was really fun. At least when I first tried it on Wii U. I really enjoyed that. Get some rest, Captain Toad. Yeah, probably. I really enjoyed that game. It's really fun to play with friends. Um, and then I bought it when it was ported to the Switch. And I don't know, like... Maybe I had just overdone it the first time around that I played it. I did not really care for it as much. Not that I remember. It could have just been because the experience wasn't very novel for me anymore. And you know how much I like books. Let's go in here. The final moon chip. Back where we started. See, that wasn't too, too difficult of a challenge. That's why I like playing this game in general. Oh boy. Okay, I was gonna say, I, I cannot see what I'm doing. I need my backup camera. You don't really have to think too hard about the obstacles and puzzles when you play Mario Odyssey. Whenever I play games and I record, it's usually when, you know, I've had a long week and I'm just trying to decompress and this is a great way to do it. Moon shards in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. All right. Let's just keep exploring here. Grab as many freebies as we can. Wow, Cappy, thanks. I can read. Okay, there's another one over here. In the early going of these power moons, like, they're not really that difficult to grab. It's not meant to be super arduous. Let's see if we can stretch just far enough with our wiggler. Just stretch your wiggler out and touch the moon. Peek it out from under the bridge. Don't let your wiggler peek out. A proper company, you might get yourself in some trouble. All right. This episode is basically just going to be um, a variation of those jokes exclusively. So hopefully you're ready for all that. All right. So I think that that's probably pretty good for wiggler use for now. I can see that there is a starburst platform there that we have not used. This is drawing us back to where we started. I don't know if, what this does. Oops. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Just a little tutorial on the value of clinging onto ledges properly. Excuse me. I don't know what happens if it... Can I capture you? Uh-oh. Uh oh, no, that's... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, I remember these boys. Oh, yeah, these boys. Get over here, boy. They're going to come over here. You know, come up to where you are. And they do regenerate, so that's nice. But I do remember seeing one of these blocks. I think maybe it was over here. One of these was shining. Here it is. This is probably a moon, if I had to guess. Oop. Make sure you stand above the explosion. If you don't, then it will, of course, bomb your bottom. You don't want that. Okay, I thought I was in position. I was not. Let's try one more time. Beautiful. The Wrecked Rock Block. I'm feeling pretty good that I should be able to gather three more Power Moons prior to the ending of this episode. What do you think, viewers? Do you believe in me? It's gonna get crazy. It's really nice to be able to break up these episodes like this. You know, you can kind of do your preliminary exploration in uh, day one and then day two. When you're in a certain island, you can, of course, come back. Oops. 
usually these culminate with like a brutal fight or whatever else is going on. This way I don't shortchange any of you. Ooh, there's a bonus here. And of course, you know, as I play this, I'm not just exclusively going for the uh, the 10 moons and then I'll, then I'll call it. Usually it's more of like a time-based thing for me. Or as I play this game, I can recognize... It's a nice little feature. Um, I can recognize that there is a pretty good amount of value in episodes being a certain length. I like to accomplish a decent amount. I know some people, when they do their Let's Plays, that progress uh, to them is irrelevant. However, I am not one of those people. I actually do like to play these games and make you feel like you're getting your money's worth. Which, that's probably a statement that currently makes no sense, but maybe in the future, you know, when these are high roller let's plays, you'll come back and look at this and really feel like you got what you paid for. So, we will see. For now, it's just a hobby. Alright. Oof. Oh, that is not cool. I'm glad I got that checkpoint, though. That's nice. I didn't even know that, that was going to happen. I thought that I made it. I'm normally a long jump pro. The game did not feel the same way, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll be back out of here in just a second. There we go. That should do it. Um, how about a backflip? That's actually all the moons right now, but I'm not quite done. I don't feel like I've accomplished enough. What else is in this area? I don't think there's anything over here. Ooh, that was close. I was not paying attention. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well done, me. There's actually a speedrunning tactic. Put me back into the spot that I was before. You're welcome, viewers. I've seen... I actually did... This was a while ago. You know, not that I follow this community very often, but it is occasional fun to pop in and check out things that I'm not familiar with, but... Um, I did watch a, uh... I did watch a speedrun of this game once. I don't know what all the stipulations were beyond just, you know, getting the moons, but after every time they'd get a moon, the audience would say something and clap, and man, did that get annoying after a while. I was not about it. And I know that they were probably having fun, and I'm just a grumpy old Gus, but, uh, yeah. I was probably not the target audience for that speedrun, we will say that. Alright. Let's see if I can just grab a few more while I'm exploring around here. How do you get the ones underneath? That I don't know. But as you can see, the Odyssey is basically like, Come on! You've got what you need! I'll do whatever I want, okay? You can, of course, explore these at your leisure. I don't know. Can I jump on that? How do I crash this cage? Okay, apparently not like that. Um, is there any easy way to... Oh, can I climb it? Can I climb this long shaft? Let's see. Yes, I can! Gotta shake that pro controller to climb faster and sound like a big old goober. Alright, let's go down. Actually, see the real moon. Well, the real cartoon moon. It would be nice if that could kind of follow the lunar cycles, but I don't think that they thought that far ahead. Not to mention the fact that that would be a little unnecessary. I mean, I, I say they didn't think far ahead, but like, this is a game that was released six years ago, and obviously, you know, it's the most recent of the 3D Mario iterations, and obviously it's an incredible game where I wouldn't be playing it. I only play incredible games, viewers, okay? Like, oops, that's not what I meant to do, but it worked. Cleared a pathway for ourselves. Okay, get ourselves a nice recovery heart. We like that. And some bonus leaves. All right, fool. All right, that's how you're actually supposed to do it. Sacrifice Cappy's life. Sorry, boy. Can you guess what's right here, viewers? What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's another power moon. I never would have guessed that on the mountain road. What do you got to say for us? This is about wall jumping? Yeah. 
Um, get out of here. All right. Wall jumping is something that you learned way back when. I remember I was playing one of the Mario's, maybe 64 with some friends a long time ago. And one of our friends, she was trying to wall jump in one of the, uh, I forget what level it was, but it was where you raise and lower the water. And she could not figure out in the slightest how to do that. And I felt bad for her. She was very grumpy Gus about that situation. Toad, what are you doing? Are you running the crazy cap shop? A little bit of small business ownership? Yeah, why not? See what kind of a cool costume we can get here. I mean, they gave us the safari suit previously. So I can't imagine what variation they would do on that. Let's go ahead and buy the kingdom specific power moon, of course. Boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo -boop. Yeah, I think that that's the sound that they all made. And then a nice clip of the clap at the end. Man, that got old. All right. Okay, looks like we're going to be a pilot. The aviator cap. Go ahead and change that. And let's go ahead and get our aviator outfit. I feel like that would be a little unfortunate to wear, given the circumstances of how hot it is. I'm assuming that's like some sort of weird morbid nod to like Amelia Earhart, who very tragically died by crashing on a tropical island. So not super cool, Nintendo. Um, but you do you. All right. I think there's actually a moon up here. I thought I just saw it. I did. All right, Cappy, I know I'm having fun. Stop trying to squash my enjoyment. You're being a turd burglar. All right. So this is another mechanic here that we can use. I need to just do a quick surveillance of where I want to do this. This, my friends, is Glidon. Whoop. <laughs> you need to use this guy to get to this little island of an island. And then the game very kind. Nope, stop it. Poxy, hold on. I just want to let you enjoy this. Glidon. <laughs> my name is Glidon. Look at me. My name is Glidon. All right, that's enough. And then, of course, the game will slingshot you all the way back. Okay. <laughs> good eye, Cappy. All right, that feels like a pretty good amount of progress for the day. We do have enough of the Power Moons to repair the Odyssey. And uh, we will come back another time and continue to chase Bowser and his airship. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Mario Odyssey. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.